Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is going to be sort of an update on my social media planner and how I'm using it. And also I'm going to be decorating my weekly spread for this week. So if you'd like to see that, stick around. So for those of you who did not see my last social media planner video, which is also like my work planner, I'm using this one. This is a custom happy planner and they sent me this cover with my first mentor box this year. I love this so much. Like I love these flowers and I love that it says at planning with Bumble. I think that's so awesome. And I love these discs. Um, so I sort of like Frank and planned this planner to be what I want and it's an ongoing process. So last time I decided I would try out the dashboard layout and that did work for me. I loved using this planner with the dashboard layout last month and I do can I will continue to do that in October because that layout really worked for me and I'm going to show you what I did. So this is September on you can see it gets like really messy you can see i actually do use this and it was really helpful this is my monthly like this is a monthly layout and i don't think they have any of these for 2021 you guys i don't know why but for some reason i i don't know if they discontinued it but for now if if you use the monthly layout just keep that in mind you might have to redate old ones or something uh, so, but this is working out for me, this monthly layout. It's like an overview of my month and I really like that. On this other page, like the currently page, I am putting all of my income from the various sources. I don't wanna show you cause I don't really feel comfortable showing my income, but that is what I use that for. And then these pages I've been using for like writing out what, um, look, I got, I don't know what I was eating that day. I got a big finger pin on my planner um so the these this section i'm using for like when i film a video i jot down what i used in that video so then when i go to put it on youtube i can put the product links in the description box for you guys so that's what i'm using these pages for and then this is an example of a weekly layout and i told you i'm using the dashboard and this really worked for me uh, over here, I'm putting all of my Instagram posts and it sort of helps me. You can see on these flags, I wrote C and W. C is for colored background and W is for white background because I alternate that color, white, color, white on my Instagram feed. And that's really kind of helping me sort of like know what pictures I've already taken and it's helping me with my feed. So I'm really liking this setup and I'm going to continue it for October. So this is the page I'm going to be putting my income on. Uh, maybe I'll set, maybe I'll set that up today. I don't know. And then here I'm, I've just started uh, doing my monthly plan for YouTube, but, and this is where I'll put my videos. I'm going to be filming less videos in October, just so you're aware. I'm not going anywhere, but for six videos a week is very, very time consuming. So I'm cutting back a little bit um, until I figure out what's going on with my health. And it's giving me time to focus on some other things that I want to focus on. So um, there'll probably be like, I would say probably four videos a week in October, just so you know what's going on there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go back to six. I might. I'm just kind of going to kind of see how it goes. So I probably am not going to be able to do all the videos I want to do with four videos a week. That's the only problem. So here is my October layout and I'm going to fill this out. But I also wanted to throw in um, some weekly pages. So we're going to put them... Where, are we, where do we put them? I hate that like there's front to back of everything. Do you know what I mean? What did I do in September? I put it after. Oh, I like glued it to the back of this. All right, I guess I could do that again. So I guess I 
I kind of took a page here um, and covered it. So I'll do that again. Let's see. So let me get my Tombow. I use like a Tombow mono adhesive. This is a permanent one. You can use the temporary one, but it comes up. The permanent one is better in my opinion. This is always in my shop, in my Amazon shop, and it's usually in the description boxes as well. So I'm just gonna put this here. And then just push it down. And then we have, it goes right from here to here, which makes sense to me. And then we're gonna put this, wait, this goes right to November though. Did I wanna use this new one? I think I wanted to start using the new one. I'm gonna do that. I don't like these black dividers and I wanna switch dividers too. And I'm probably gonna do that starting next month. So yeah, so I'm switching up. I think I talked about this in my last video about what I was gonna do. I actually have to go back and rewatch that to see exactly how I was gonna set this up because I had an idea and now I forget. Anyway, I'm gonna just do this with you guys today and maybe I'll set up that other page too though. Hold on, let me go back. Maybe I'll set up the monthly page first. This is just gonna be basic. I don't really decorate this because it's already like pretty decorative. So I'm gonna just refer to what I did in September here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna grab some colorful boxes because that pretty much worked out for me. I'm gonna use some silver this month and just go ahead and put some of these down. This is just a general to do. We'll just do this really quick. And then here is going to be my list of Patreon to do's. Down here, I've been tracking my social media numbers. I actually forgot to track it at the end of the month last time, but I'm going to track it this month. So we have Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Okay, and then over here, I I was using, let me see, see if I can come up with here. I might do it a little bit differently than last month because this is all trial and error. So what I do this month might change next month if I realize I didn't need a section or if I realize I needed an extra section that I did not put down. And that's kind of what happened this time. I needed a section for my Bumble BFFs who are my top tier on Patreon because they get spreads sent to them and I wanted a section to write out like what weeks and what kind of spread I was giving them. So I'm gonna put that up here. And then here I'm gonna put new patrons so I can track them and give them shout outs. And then, what was I gonna put here? I don't know yet. Here is gonna be a section for affiliates. And then that's sponsorships. Okay, so I'll fill this out later. Exclusive videos. This is going to be me checking off how often I do things. So how often I post exclusive videos for my patrons. On a certain tier on Patreon, they get extra videos. And so I want to make sure that I'm giving them at least like 
one to two videos a week, sometimes three, but so this is today. I am very late starting this social media planner this month, but today I gave them a video. So I just checked that off. Okay, and then um, I just wanna put Patreon posts here. That's if I post stuff for all my patrons like pictures or tips or like little announcements or whatever polls sometimes different stuff okay and then here's facebook group posts just to be sure i am interacting enough in my facebook group for for patreons so i just don't want to like go for like a week without saying anything on my facebook group so i just want to like remind myself of that okay so that's set up and again, I could decorate this, but I don't have to. This is a very, very functional planner for me. Um, so it's not always gonna be decorative and that's okay. If you're somebody who has a lot to write, you don't have to decorate, like especially if it's a decorative happy planner already. Um, I will always, always sticker up my catch-all planner, but like my work planner, not as much except I do like to decorate the, the weekly a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. It's not gonna be as much as I decorate in my catch-all as you will see because I need more room to write because this is a classic size planner. This is not a big planner, but I'm gonna be using the watercolor gold sticker book because when I was reorganizing my sticker books yesterday, I realized that I hardly ever use this baby and it's so pretty and there's so many cute stickers in here so I thought I would use it today. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing but I saw these ones and I thought maybe I would stick one of those there. So let's start with that. It's a little crooked but it's not too bad. So the, these colors are gonna match like the pink here. I was glad that I switched, let I, I turned the page to October and I saw that it was pink. I was like, yeah, cause I love pink. And pink like is so easy to match with Happy Planner stuff. So, so that made me happy. I'm gonna turn to my weekly spread in September just so I can sort of see how I set it up again so I can refer to it. Cause this is not in my memory yet. It is still like um, new to me. So I have to refer to last month to like know what to put down where. So I'm gonna, I think maybe, I need some of those small boxes, but I think maybe I'll do like colored ones this time, like pinks or blue or something. Let's see. I guess I can use this color. I always use this color though, but. I'm gonna put some on top of each section. I think I will, let me see what colors are in here. Maybe a purple, is there a light purple here? I think so. So we'll just kind of alternate it. How about a light blue? Just to make it a little more colorful than usual. Um, let me see, back to that teal color probably. Okay, and then down here, maybe another one, but maybe not. So let's hold on. So let's see what we've got going on in this book. I really like these. I think these are really cool, but I don't know what I would use it for. I'm gonna put one right here to cover this focus on. And I'm gonna take it off the page. I don't have a reason for this, just so you're aware. I'm just going to do it and then I'm going to cover it up with something else, like cover up the other side of it, like do a little layering. 
I just like it and it matches the pink on the page. So I think it's pretty. So then let's find like a box sticker or something to go over it as like some sort of little decoration. Uh oh, these are all like layered boxes and I don't know if there's any like true decorative boxes in here. I like these little popsicles. I also think I want to use some of this. All right, I need some other like decoration there and I think I'm gonna to have to go into another book. How about mood tracking? I don't think there's anything going to be any kind of decoration ones in here, though. Oh, oh, here, like these. Quiet the noise and you'll hear the peace. That's cute. Let's use that. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I'm taking it back. Although I still might use this somewhere. Um... Uh, I think I need to move this up a little. So this is my happy planner section, which it doesn't, I don't need to put a lot in there. So I don't need to write a lot. So I'm going to move this up. It's basically my section for like, um, things about promoting happy planner stuff or like mentor stuff. And I don't usually have a lot to write in there. So I'm going to just move that up. I can always write on top of that as well. And this makes me feel better. I'm just going to put this down like this. Okay. Um, I definitely want to work some of these purples in, like, and maybe the green over into here. This section I've been using for, like, special projects, but I haven't really been doing anything for special projects. But I think I should use it, so I'm going to take another one of these maybe another purple just put this down here because that is my reminder whoa that's really crooked that is my reminder to work on special projects which i've been neglecting what else is new all right so let's write in these i'm going to take a bigger pen so i'm going to use a paper mate flare This is my to film section, Patreon. Before I started Patreon, I could kind of get away with not a big social media planner because I was doing everything on my happy planner wall calendar, which worked out for a while. But then when I started Patreon, it got harder and harder to like just use that calendar and my catch-all so I was like well I really need I had a dedicated social media planner but I just wasn't really using it to its full potential and I was like I really got to change this up which is why I started using this one projects videos for the week Okay, so those are my sections. Now, over here, I really liked using these little flags because I liked being able to write on these with the color white thing. So I need to find some more of those little flags. Let's look in this book and see. There's those, but I think they're too small to write on. Oh wait, before we do that, I do wanna use some of this because I think that this is like really cute. Um, I wanted to use this to bring in some of this purple, but I don't know where because I don't have enough to do like different sections here, but I could do this. Wait, does this even go across? Kind of. I don't know how I feel about that so far, but let's keep going. 
it's all kind of, I think this sticker's throwing me off. It's all kind of like not jiving color-wise for me. I do like these. Let me take this off. I'm going to try something else. It's like too pale. Like it's really pretty, but. Okay. It's too pastel. So I'm going to put it back. Uh-oh. And I think instead I'm going to use a popsicle. Like maybe that one. Because I don't think I want to bring yellow in and there's already pink there. Spread some happy. Try to spread some happy today for me. Okay. Yeah, I like that better. It just kind of... I know that that's weird behind it, but I'm letting it slide. Um... Anyway, try to spread happy today for me, please. Just do one kind thing for someone else. Make such a big difference if you just pay it forward, you know? I don't know. I think it's important. Let's put this here. I know that's bringing yellow in, but I'm going to put bring this in over here, so I think that's okay. I'm just gonna put this down at the bottom. So I'm excited today because I get, I'm trying out microphones. So I ordered two microphones and the sound should be improving here on playing with Bumble very soon. So that's exciting. Stay tuned for that. Probably in the next videos coming up. Oh, look at that one. Daydreams and ice cream. Happy plans. Um, in the videos coming up this week, it should sound a little bit better. Let's hope. I don't know much about microphones. I've been doing a lot of research. But I think it's going to work. Uh oh, that's covering that five, isn't it? Let me see. I'm going to move this videos over a little bit so I can put this other sticker here. I know. I'm crazy. Okay. So that sort of rounds out the the um, the section, like the balance of these words to me. Sometimes I just feel better if um, if I bring something to the top of the page that's also on the bottom, the same type of thing. It just brings more balance to the page and makes me feel good. So that's why I do that. Okay, so I was looking for little flags or something to put on on those days. And I don't know that I'm going to find them in here. But what we can do... Ooh, look at these hearts. I could use the hearts, but I don't think there's enough. So I need um, two on each day. So I'm going to need 14... And I don't want to use black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 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 All right. Let's look in the pastel mega sticker book. And maybe there's some flags or something we can use from that. Let's get to match these colors, hopefully. Here's some hearts, but they're too big. What about these? What is this? Oh, that's letters and that's triangles. Those are letters and letters. I always forget that I have those because it's hard to see them. Um, you tell them, Bumble. You know what I could do? I could cut my own little flags or something out of these. That seems like so much work though, doesn't it? But they're the right colors. Let me see what I can do here. Let 
What if I use a punch? I don't know. I must have like a regular hole punch somewhere that's big enough that I can write on it. Hang on a minute. Okay, I'm trying to punch this and it's like a hassle trying to get this out. Like I got one out, but it's a hassle trying to get this out of the punch. Um, it just kind of sticks there. So unless I cut, unless I do it on paper, but I still think it's gonna be not what I wanna do. Let me just try it. Well, it still works, but then the problem is like, I have to peel off each individual little, I don't wanna do that. So instead, what I'm gonna do is cut, it doesn't have to be even, I decided. I'm just gonna cut like this, page into like little squares and they're going to be like kind of off. They're not going to be totally even squares. And I kind of like that idea. Of course, I'm still going to have to, well, I'll take this off first. So I'm just going to kind of cut it like unevenly and just sort of put them I'm even gonna do it like this, you know what I mean? They don't have to be um, like straight on the page. They're kind of just gonna be all over the place. And I sort of like the thought of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll speed this up and you can see the end result. All right, I think that's cute. It's like not perfect, but it's kind of cute. And then over here, um, I want to. I forgot to cover up this part with a to-do section. And then this, I think I'm gonna switch because this color is not matching any of the other colors on my page here. So I'm just gonna switch that up a little bit um, and make that. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe teal, maybe teal. Wish I had a light yellow, but you know how that goes. Um, let's just see. I just wanna, I'm sorry, I'm just looking here one more time. Oh, before I do that, that's why I was looking here. I'm going crazy. Um, I'm looking for something to cover up some of these so it's not all pink here because I think it would be fun if it was different colors as well. So I'm, I went back to these hearts and I'm just gonna do every other. So these dark ones, I'm gonna cover up with hearts. So let's do this. I think that just makes it a little cuter. Um, put a little green in there since there's green here. We'll do a pink one, why not? Then one more, we'll throw in another purple. So I think that makes like a cuter list there and brings in some of these colors over into the section. So let's cover up these two. We'll get our colorful boxes book again and we're gonna grab some different color boxes that just sort of match the page better. So how about, what about this other color here that's like not quite pink, but not quite, it kind of matches this purple here. It's not quite like full on purple. Let's put that over here. And let me grab my Paper Mate Flare again. And I don't mind that I wasted that colorful box because I have like eight colorful boxes books and I have a lot of that blue. And then we need to cover that up. I think I was gonna do a teal, but then there's teal right here. So I think I need to do something else. Um, and there's two purples here. So I don't know. I don't always have the answers, folks. 
<laughs> in case you're wondering, I don't always know what I'm doing. In fact, most of the time, I really don't know what I'm doing. Oh, look at this. How about this one? Does that match? Ew, not with this stuff over here. It does not. How about a darker purple that matches this one over here? I know we have a lot of purple then, but that's all right. That's all right with me. Move it. Oh, I can't move it up. It's got to cover that black there. It was kind of bothering me that this was higher and this is lower, but again, like it's not a huge deal. Okay. So I think that's looking pretty cute. What else do we need? I feel like there's a lot of color right here and there's nothing there, but I can't really fit one of these here. So I might just have to live with that. Let's just see if there's any other kind of cute little things I could put maybe at the top of the page or something. I kind of want to bring in another one of these. What if I brought in another one of those on the other side? Oh, I didn't see these. Oh, they're cute. I kind of like that better than this, but we'll leave that there. I'll use those another time. Let's look for those circles, these ones. So I'm thinking maybe, do we have another pink? I don't. I would love to bring another pink up there to bring pink to this side because there's so much pink on this side, but I don't have that option. So what about yellow? Is that a mistake? That's quite possibly a mistake. We may need to bring purple up there, but, or even green to kind of bring in that green. Ooh, that's pretty good. Let's do that. So we're gonna just put that up there in the corner. And then I think I could put 2020 there since I covered up the 2020, but I don't really need to, but I, I think something belongs on there though. So let me write in 2020. Obviously I know it's 2020, but let's do that anyway. Okay. So I think that's cute. That'll keep me on track for this week in my planner. And hopefully it will help me to organize all of the social media stuff that I need to organize this week. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Also let me know if you use a social media planner and how it's working for you, what layout you use. I'm always interested in like what people use for social media or work because it's like, especially, well, social media, because it's like a whole different animal than like a regular work planner, I feel like. So I like this a lot. I love pastels. So I think this works for me this week. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.